Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am your host, and I am Dietmar Ostermann, the regular guy from Long Island. Today we are talking about the legend, the legend. of Napa Valley, Robert Mondavi. And we will be tasting the best of the Robert Mondavi portfolio wines, the Robert Mondavi Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve. And I have selected here a 2010, that's a 11 year old Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon that should be at its prime. Right now. So, you all have heard me talk about Napa Valley before. It is my favorite region and Napa Valley is the king of the valleys in California and produces the best Cabernet Sauvignon. Robert Mondavi is a legend. He established his winery in 1966 and he was uh, known for being innovative in creating great marketing techniques that nobody else was uh, doing at that time. He opened up the portfolio, not only had many different types of wine, but then within the Cabernet Sauvignon range, he did a low cost wine, a regular Cabernet wine, a high end uh, Oakville wine and the reserve and opened up the portfolio. He also was the first to establish a impressive visitor center to host people, invite them in and experience the wines in a beautiful tasting room combined with art, food and beautiful landscaping. He also is the one that went out and created joint ventures. One of the most famous one is Opus One together with Baron de Rothschild. But he went overseas and did the same thing. Here, for instance, is a beautiful bottle of the Senya. The Senya is a joint venture between Robert Mondavi in Chile with the famous Chilean winemaker Eduardo Chadwick. This wine, which is the 2015, was scored 100 points by James Suckley. So, Robert Mondavi was the winemaker that, without a doubt, from Napa Valley on the international global wine map and established it in uh, equal priority and importance to big time French Bordeaux wines. So the 2010 Robert Mondavi Reserve Cabernet is a great wine rated uh, highly by many Wine Spectator 94, Jeff Levy 93 points, Vivino has it at 4.3. The bottle cost about uh, between $150 to $175 when it first gets released. Uh, I looked at Vivino, you can buy right now the 2016 for $150. They do not have any of the 2010 available. The winery and this wine comes right from the heart of Napa Valley in Oakville and it's the legendary Tocalon vineyard which was the first that Robert Mondavi acquired back in 1966. The uh, winemaker says engaging aromas of cassis and early season blackberries, dried herbs, violet floral flavors, sense of minerality and uh, a silky ribbon of flavor, long lingering finish. Let's check that out. Let's open this baby up. A little bit of sediment in the cork for an 11 year old Napa Valley wine to be expected. Cocao. All right, I'm going to decant this wine for two reasons. One is, it's a little bit of an older Cabernet Sauvignon. 
and I like to give that line some chance to uh, interact with oxygen before it gets consumed. And secondly, all high priced, big ticket Napa Valley Cabernets, I would decant just to make sure you did everything you can to maximize the potential of this wine. Okay, here we go. I have a beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon glass, the long glass out of crystal from my Riedel. I also have the Austrian Riedel crystal decanter. Okay, so what do we see? A dark, dark, ruby red color. Nothing see-through. Full alcohol. Probably some uh, good tannins, we'll see. But uh, let's give it a sniffy sniff. A little bit of oak flavors coming up in the nose. Cassis, as advertised. Very, very, very elegant aromas, I have to say. Let's give it a whirl. Idea, a whirl. Incredibly well balanced in the mouth. Indeed, some aspects of minerality. It's almost like you have a little bit of metal on your tongue, but embedded in a beautiful cloud of fruit. Very impressive, the fruit on the tongue. Blackberry for the most part. A little bit of cassis, a little bit of black currant. Very, very little tannins left. The finish is long, as advertised, with a little bit of minerality in it. But fruity finish. Well balanced. There's no spikes in the finish. It lingers on constantly with a little bit of fruit. I'm very impressed and um, I cannot do any other than giving this uh, wine a 5.0. I think this is a perfect example of a top-notch Napa Valley Cabernet, just like I like them. With that, this is the end of this particular show. Check out Robert Mondavi. Don't get confused and buy the inexpensive version. Be clear, there's a regular Cabernet that's about $31. There's one step up, the Oakville Cabernet, probably around $50. And then there's the Reserve Cabernet. This one happens to be the 2010 Reserve. They typically, at first release, run between $150, $175. But they are good. This one, highly recommendable. Please watch my show. Like it, subscribe it, and follow me on Vivino. This wine will also be ranked today on Vivino. See you next time, Sundays.